go ahead and get this off of here. Now the next thing we need to do is get the wiring off of the fan shroud itself. You can do that with something as simple as one of these little forky tools. Get in behind there and pop it off. There should be one over here as well. This one's already off. After that, we want to disconnect the wiring from the actual motor. So let's go ahead and push in on the center and then draw this right off of there. I always like to take a peek to make sure there's no funny colors. The next thing we need to do is remove our mounting bolts down here. Use a 10 millimeter. There's one on this side and there's one on the driver's side. Now that we have one. those out, give it a little wiggle. As you can tell, it's pretty much ready to come out. What we need to do next is just lift straight up and out. You might notice that the ear gets caught on here, but just kind of weasel it over to the side and it should come up. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's gonna be time to get our brand new fan shroud in here. Go ahead and slide it in. What we wanna pay attention to is those bottom areas. Right down here. You wanna make sure those fit into the hooky-doos that are down on the radiator. Okay. Just have to move it around up and down a little bit. We should be able to get it to fit in. Once you're sure you have those lower pitons situated into the radiator as they should be, let's go ahead and put in our mounting bolts. I like to start them both in before I snug either of them up. That's tight, do the same to the other side. Let's get our wiring harness connected into the fan. Click, give it a nice tug, make sure it's secured. Go ahead and pop these into the shroud. Awesome. We definitely don't want this flopping around. If anything's broken, just go ahead and use a wire tie to make sure it's secured. Connect our overflow hose. Something that you might notice is that they made it extra long for you. It's great because it's better to be a little too long than a little too short. So just kind of estimate approximately what length you need it. This looks good. Trim it to the size you want. And then go ahead and slide it right onto that radiator. This looks good. Make sure it's not kinked in any way. If you made it too long, there's a possibility that it could kink and then you won't have flow like you need. 